Hi folks, Mark here from RLG. What I've got here is Greg from RLG. How are we going? We are an online gaming community that has been invited by our local gaming store to do an unboxing of the ninth edition of Warhammer 40k Indomitus. So we do need to say a big thanks to Jolt Games Don't for inviting us down and uh, let us come in and uh, record in their little room. We have a lot of people at the window over here going, what are they doing? What are they doing? They were very keen to see what we've got in our box here, so we had to hide a few of it away from them. Yep, so this is what we'll be looking at today. Oh, ninth edition of Warhammer 40k Indomitus. And it's a, a big box. Big box. It is a heavy box. Big box. You could knock someone out with this. I thought one of the um, bigger ones that they've gone for the under hives was huge, but no, this one much, much better. Necromunda, but no, this yeah. is huge. It's, 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 well, we're advertising it. it's the biggest box ever. And it is definitely weight wise, that's for sure. Mm. So we're gonna have open it up. We, we've been good, we haven't looked at any, <laughs> anything at the moment. So this is gonna be a surprise for us so you get to see our live reactions recorded. And as a Necron player, I'm still half dubious about whether this is going to be good, so hopefully this will be the tipping scale for me. Um, he, I don't care about him. He wants to buy the Marines for the fun part, I think. I do. I have a Salamander army, and I thought I might expand that, but after looking at some of the stuff up there, it could be a White Scar army. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> could be anything. It could be anything. Uh, so we, this will go live uh, on Saturday, so if you're watching this, it's Saturday the 11th. Mm -hmm. And you should be pre-ordering your copy of this because they are fairly limited. And while it looks like GW have been saying that you should be able to get a copy, better be safe than sorry so the whole Sisters of Battle incidents don't happen and you can get your hands on it. So, should we open it? Let's crack it. Let's open it. All right. Oh, let's open oh, it's it. so heavy. It is a heavy box. Right. You started it. Look at this. It's, it's so big, and there's two people to open it. Preempted the plastic, paint shrink wrap. Right. Oh, oh. See, I, I'm failing. <laughs> Do it. Look at this. Look how big the marine is. If <laughs> they're that big, they're my crons on mine. On the box, you do get a whole lot of fancy pictures and stuff like that. Um, you do see what you're going to get. A couple mm -hmm. of Necrons up here and Space Marines and the books and stuff like that. But we're going to go in more detail. There's a few things we can't tell you until the 11th. Mm -hmm. So, good luck. Yeah, we're going to have to be a little bit careful with what we show. Uh, so we don't accidentally spoil stuff for yourselves and ourselves. But we'll try and at least give you a good view of what's in here. Yeah. Alright, so here we go. Pretty right. little play cardboard. Anything useless. on the back? No. No, just pretty They've got some, some Smurf pictures. And, and more Smurf, Smurf pictures. Smurf pictures. Smurf. Absolutely useless to me. We're not Smurfs players, so... No. Um, well, okay. Oh, okay. Straight out of the box. That's a lot of sprues. That is a lot of sprues. That is a, a lot of... Oh, man. Mm, smell it. <laughs> that <laughs> new oh, box smell. I mm. worry about your sniffing habits. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll show you the box, I can okay. see a lot of Marines. The, yeah, you can see the Marines are on top, which they should be. Dang, those bikes look cool. We'll get to them. We're going to try, oh, we might have to split it more up. Yeah. What else is in the box? Come on. Well, that, oh, Christ. I think that's some of Stop our school deck. Stop right, sorry. Looking. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, my gosh. Oh, their legs. I know those legs. You can see straight away they're not the snap fits one, because all those people can play. Ah, oh, snap fit gets rid of the modelling. Well, you'll be in luck. No, stop ah, looking. Got another piece uh, of paper. Oh, piece of I'll put more Smurfs on it. More Smurfs. And more, more Smurfs. Smurfs. Back. That's, That's pretty exciting. smart, though. At least it keeps the Spurs off the books. Yeah. There we go. Finally got to the good stuff. Oh, the, oh, the good stuff. Look at that. Yep. It's a, a new book. <laughs> advertising a new book. It almost looks like they're asking to go out for a, um, a coffee. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty exciting, I know. Good old Gav. Ooh. All right, what do we got here? Uh, Edge of Silence. So for those of you who have no idea what this is, until those points get released in some of the bigger index books, these are our fancy data sheets, and from what I've read, a fair bit of lore to come behind it as well. So We are allowed to open it. <gasps> We are allowed to open it. Fancy pants. So, I know, right? It's like you're unwrapping a comic here. Yeah, no, it feels like I did some gloves <laughs> and stuff like that. It's crazy. I did that like a comic book too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think those are real comics. Alright, so this is the Edge of Silence book. Look at these cameras everywhere. Oh, it's beautiful. Alright, what have we got in here? 
Oh, so with that one, you also had is our instruction book. Yep. Well, look, the edge of science. So this looks like it's going to be the data cards. Uh, we're not allowed to give you too many rules and stuff, but we can see there's a bit of fluff in here. Pretty pictures. Look, oh, Necron's first Necron's page. First player. page. Oh, and what's 60 go. pages of Smurfs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So there's a bit of story That's behind it. story though. But when you consider what the fluff is supposed to be for this one, it is supposed to be the return of the Silent King and the, the forces that come around. I would expect there to actually be some decently related yeah. fluff this time. Angels of Death, so that could be anyone, surely. Yes. I'm trying to get to the data cards. There we go. So there are data cards here as well. Um, they have a very Age of Sigma look to them. They do. Say. But I think... We've discussed this, I think, before, but I do believe that's why they're going towards that way. Mm. The weapons choices are going to get less. And um, but let's be honest, I find the Age of Sigma stuff easy to read. Yeah. Now, we might go personally look into it in more detail, but this oh, is yeah. as much detail we can show that's you. This is all you're going to get, my friends. But it does mean, um, it does mean that um, when you get the box, you can play straight out of the yeah. game because you've got all the data cards, all the information you need um, straight away for the Marines and the Necrons to get in the box, which is handy. Pass it over. I was going to put it for a Oh, give, it, give me our yeah, detail. Yeah, yeah. Give me our viewers some details. You can have a look. Oh, no, oh, the box is now the box is my amateurs. Yeah. So, that's the science box. Which is, what, what else did you find in there? So, we have our instructions. So yep. Cool. So, there's our instructions there. Now, um, how do they look? Well, instruction if you ask me. instruction here. So nothing yeah. magical there. Nothing magical. Yeah, but it's showing you, the, like, you've got your painting schemes for, for the marine factions, which yeah. is kind of funky, I like that. Uh, so you don't just get ultramarine after ultramarine after ultramarine. Yeah. I do like the look of those bikes, I'm going to say that. Wish Krons, <laughs> wish Krons had my bikes, or oh, there's those Scorpix. So you can see, definitely not snap fit, but they don't look over complicated. They don't, like, Warriors were never hard to begin with, let's be brutally honest. For the dumb blades like myself, they were pain in the butt with the green rods. Yeah. Um, and that's something actually, I'm kind of glad I'm not seeing in here. Green rods? I'm not seeing green rods. No. Green rods drove me nuts, because you lost one, it was a pain. And then you really had to go and try and find and uh, replace the green rods somewhere. Yeah, so... We'll get to the models first. What else we got? Is that all the That's it. That's it. Uh, the big book. The big book. I thought that was a... We've got the magic book. Oh, oh my God. Transfers oh, my God. Here's here. all the weight. Yeah, and there's our transfers, so... There's the transfers. Nothing exciting there. Standard as usual. Transfers for four different factions. Ultramarines, Blood Angels, Space Wolves, and Dark Angels. Oh, that's disappointing. But where are the real Marines? Oh, they're at home crying. Oh. Oh, there you go. Nice close-up of them, but yeah. Oh, what we really wanted to see is this one here, right? Oh, give me Phil, give me Jesus here. Christ. That is a book. That is a book. That is a book and a half. That is 300 and... What was it? 48 or 84? 368 oh, pages. Oh, was close. I am a bit disappointed that the front cover doesn't show the two factions are actually competing. It does not show Krons. Oh, yeah. It's a and Imperium and Chaos cover. Yeah. But this is the, the limited edition. This cover. is that's true, and apparently the cover that's on the regular book is still pretty fancy and awesome. Yeah. Just a bit disappointed there. Yeah, okay. Um, we can see just looking at the book, it, it is nothing on the back. No. It is definitely a special edition to give you just that prettiness, uh, that that prettiness. Um, you can see there's a bookmarker in there now. Something I've just noticed on the, actually on the internal of the box. Oh, yeah. I like that. Uh, let's flick that up to the top camera for me. Yeah. Around the edge of the box, it's actually got a whole stack of actual models. So it's got the models assembled on it. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. That's that's, that's and then, all right. So here's the book. Now we're not going to go rule for rule here. No, we can't. Um, we can't, and I don't want to. <laughs> as much as I want to read all the rules and stuff. The core rules are already out online, so you should be able to download that from the Warhammer yep. community. So. Eight pages of easily understandable stuff. Um, as someone who gets confuzzled with the rules, I actually found them not hard this time. And I jumped in on seven, so I don't think it's that bad. No, the rules the themselves I think are quite good. Yeah, very interested to see how the blasts work mm. um, and uh, how the campaign works and stuff like that. And it's all in here, but obviously we won't be going through the full detail of that. We'll flick through to see what's actually in the book. Yep. Um, Alright, so it's, it's, like, so it's got the Chaos Guy there. That's exciting. Yeah. Right? You like the Chaos Guy? Yeah, I like the Chaos Guy better than Bobby G. Chaos Guy for the win? Yeah, Chaos for the win. Chaos for the win, there he is. There he is! <laughs> I knew he was there somewhere. 
Chaos Guy is excited that he gets it mentioned. Well done, Chaos Guy. <laughs> All right, let's well, have a look at it. Quick. All right, so we're allowed to look at the contents. We just can't go through the rules. Like, it is a hefty book. It let's is. Let's be careful with it. Yeah, we don't want to damage this one. I don't want this one to be ours. I want to open no, it up ourselves. Contents. 364 right. pages. 364. Yeah, it's big. We've got the Dark Imperium. Look, it does look like that. 100, 190 of the pages mm. is the fluff. And I kind of expected that. Yeah. After seeing the 7th and 8th edition that they were, um, what was it, 7th um, edition, I think it was nearly two-thirds fluff. Yeah. So that's nice to see that while the fluff's necessary, fluff's a bit of fun, it's yes. not the entirety of the book. Yeah, and we can see that it's going to be the, the, the match plays, the open plays, mm. and, and so on. you want to touch it? No, I'm not afraid <laughs> I'm like it. I know what I'm like. All right, so a quick oh, flick. <laughs> so you can see, oh, good, so we've got Space Marine chapters, a variation of them there, and unfortunately, oh, Dodge Marines are first up. They're all the same, just different colours. So, yeah, you yeah. can see the Warriors is the Emperor. When will he give up his throne? Come on. Oh, it's not um, there. He's a puppet, we know. Stadies are in there. Um, all right, so here's the book. We are opening it up, and uh, content straight away, we can see uh, that it's fairly in depth. Half the book is fluff 190 pages out of the 380 just a few yeah but then we do have all the other guys the rules the data sheets the missions and there's a um, large chunk of match play there which is actually yeah, kind of yeah. cool i like it that is. so i can see that they're going through oh, let's go who, who are the first who do you reckon the first one is going to be the faction oh no i'm saying it will be smurfs it will be ultras has to be yeah the warriors of the emperor come up first of course which is um which is interesting to see, it looks some beautiful artwork. Oh, it's right? always good artwork. I do like that. They put nice, good stuff in there. Good artwork that's related to the, whatever the fluff or the rule is at the time. Yeah, so it'd be interesting to see. Oh, oh the dark that's gods. cool. That's cool. Dark gods are in there. I like can't that. show too much of it, but you know, that's a good. Um, I'd like to know oh, Inquisition. Good to see. Even though they have Warriors of Faith. Cool. Sisters. I'd like to see like the Dark Imperium. I want to see if they've actually changed any of the fluff to it because of the Psychic Awakening. Well, results. they've had to add to it, obviously, yeah. because it's it's now a big part of it. Now here's the Xenos. Mm, that's my boy. Tyranids up there with Elder. Um, look, we've got Chakari. So yeah, cool. start the new Yunari. Icons. Orcs. Um, some beautiful pictures and models again. Nothing new. That's the one no. thing. That they didn't get anything new. They got one new character for the Eldar and one new character for the uh, Drakari, but that was mm. it for the whole thing. At least some people got at least one. At least, new at least model. my boys actually got some new toys for once, and I'm yes. happy for that. And there's some pictures of my boys. Yep. Oh, they've still got the arcs. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> I got two uh, of them. Gaz. Love that. Gaz is always oh, good to yeah. see. We love Gaz. Uh, the rules. Okay, oh, so we're up to phone in the rules. And it's Drakari at the front against White Scars. There yeah, you go. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, so we're going... That's the rules key over here. Most of us we see in the downloads. We're not going to go to... Yeah. We're not going to go... If definitely. you want to look at this stuff, go and look at the rules online. It's been posted yeah. on the Warhammer community. You know the basic rules? These will be the ones that are actually the free ones. The that basic rules there yeah, you've seen. Yeah, those eight pages. Um, here the phases. We have already known about the seven phases now because the command phase is now in place. Um, so we can see psychic phases in there, making attacks. It's all mm. the and same rules. And I suppose got. with the command phase, they're having to put there. There now they're putting out the extra command points. So yeah. they need to make it a relevant that well, a place to put those command points. Yes, yeah, so strategic reserves, terrain. Look, that's the one thing we are looking yeah. forward to. I can put it there because there's no rules. You can't yeah. read into it. Uh, I'm interested to see how the terrain rules go because it's meant it is going to change a lot. As I've always thought, the eighth. They made it too simple. Yes, they did. Seventh was too complicated, so hopefully there's something in the middle. And I, I want to see more about the flyers. See if I can be tempted to get my uh, my croissant of doom into the game. Yep. Finally, so there's open. Pl that's open play. Not much of no, <laughs> but that shouldn't have changed. No match play. Okay, it's got some missions in there. Eternal War Maelstroms will be there. Now I know they've made a big change to where the um, tactical objectives go. It, it, it's now a set place. It seems. Mm. Which I don't mind at all because you can get an item balance. Yeah, um, that happens. Sorry, that was. That's a slightly bigger chunk, as we saw in the index. That's a bigger chunk. Yeah. So there, there's your match play. It's a bigger chunk. We expect a bit more in the match play, which most people play. No, that's play. what generally we do. Yeah. Uh, narrative. Now this will be the crusade side. We'll just quickly look. Crusade. Quick. No rules. <laughs> um, and well, that was quick. 
Yeah. <laughs> Never got some imagery. But then again, with the Crusade rules, they're actually adding a lot onto the, the app that they've put out so people can record yeah. their stuff on that. So you see, uh, going into more details and data sheets and stuff like that, so for that, be for the Crusade stuff. Unfortunately, I can't show you more than no. what I'm showing, flicking through. Um, it's more beautiful art. Uh, that's the book. I'm, inter- I'm excited. 380 odd pages of it, and it will kill someone if you hit it with it. It will certainly hurt. Yeah. But that's the book itself, and I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, it looks very nice, what I've seen. Um, off there, we might look even deeper, but that's not the point. Mm. <laughs> All right. Pretty good. What else is in the box? I think. Okay, so. We're on to the the, the, uh, the the real stuff that gets us hooked into this the game. The stuff that everyone's actually probably Crazy looking stuff. for. Now, we should have probably sorted them out to which factions we oh, It's pretty easy. You can tell um, the Kron versus a, a Smurf any day of the week. We've got all the Krons over there. There's some Smurfs there. Yeah, it's a Smurf. Beautiful bikes. Oh, thank you very much. Mm, I don't see no any spruce. Don't see that. Well, there you go. Oh, no, I've got the big ones. You've got the piddly little yeah, ones. Okay. So okay. straight off, we are seeing that um, here's all the Marines. So look, at yours, look at yours first. Look at the grey stuff. We're going to look at the grey stuff. So which one are we um, going to look at? We're going to look at the marines first. Um, so we can see here there is a lot of marine sprues. Mm. Um, two of those little ones there are actual necrons. They're trying to invade. <laughs> Character the alpha. Alpha. Uh, yeah, that's them. <laughs> Alright, so we'll have, we'll have a look. We'll have a look at this sprue here. We can see that they've got, oh, it looks like the... Uh, st- some sort of standard bearer. I'm looking, there it is there, so that's cheap G. Bear with me while I go to G. That's him. Where is he? There's the nerf, yeah. Yep. That is our Blade Guard Ancient. Blade Guard Ancient over here. You can see the beautiful detail in that. Just that looking is. on, yeah, he's got the robes on him. The, yeah, the, the standard looks amazing. And we can see these shields that everyone's been talking about down here for the other guys, the Blade. Um, blade. They are Blade Guard blade Veterans. Guard veterans. Um, so there's look very detailed I like the melter gun over mm. here um, so they do look very cool yeah um, so what we've got one two so there's about four people on there five people on there yeah sounds about right about five people look for bodies yeah cool count the toes <laughs> oh we've got it here this looks like the more the generic um <coughs> excuse me What's that one? he is the uh normal guy uh, with the infamous chainsaw uh, looking up there, I'd say. That's him. All right, so here we got this one. Here is uh, well, one of the sprues for the intercessors on there. You can see the chainsaws that everyone's talking about. Um, and even now they get chainsaws. Even I know chainsaws. I remember them from the old talisman board game. Yeah. Well, I think chainsaws, chain swords, are better than power swords. But so oh. it's very exciting to see them come out because they get extra attacks. I'd rather more attacks than an AP. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's just me. What uh, chances? So we got one, two, two sprues two of those, sp- sprues of those um, which will make how many of them? Squad of nine. Squad of oh, nine. Oh, that'd be the lieutenant. Oh, the lieutenant with Sarge, his pew pew. Yep. Sarge would be in there. Oh, it's obvious what that one is. Right, this is the one we're very excited about. Outrider squad, they look fantastic. These bikes look fantastic. And it's, it, it's tempting me to change from a salamander to a white scar. Uh, look at the chunk of those bikes. They look good. Four-wound bikes. They remind me, they remind me of the old Robotech-style bikes in uh, Macross. Nice. Got the phone going for the background. That's professional. Very professional. Let's have a look at these bikes. These are them here. They have a nice big sprue. It's an unusual size sprue. Yeah. You don't usually get one long like that. But they are the bikes. And the bikes are awesome. Man, it's, they just look good. Five bikes. Five bikes. Looks Five? Quite, yeah. Three. Five? Two, three, four, five. Hang yeah, on, you can't yeah, three right. bikes, I'm sure. Let's look a little bit closer. Buddy. Yeah, three bikes, my three bad, bikes. I can't count. He can't count, we've got one bike with only one wheel, apparently. Yeah. And only one size, cut in half. Um, yeah, they look, they look medium. What did you say it looked like? Oh, right. macro, oh, from Robotech. Back in Robotech. the third set of Robotech cartoons where the bikes turned into little power suits. Oh, fair enough. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the characters. Now we'll try, oh. so, these would be the lieutenants. Each. What do we got here? What does it say? We've got oh man, so many characters to look at. Oh. We've got a chaplain. You've got a lieutenant. You got your judica or judica? I have no idea how to pronounce. I say judica. Judica. All right. So hmm. this one here looks like not looking at the necron. 
This looks like the uh, champion with the shield. That's this guy. Yeah. Primaris captain. Is no, it? lieutenant. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, with yeah. the shield. Cap captain. So he looks like the Primaris captain. Look at the detail of that shield. It's just beautiful. I don't know if you can see it from here. I, I like the backpack as well. Yeah. The, the halo? Yeah. Looks kind of funk. Uh, and over here, I'm trying to find the Duker. Oh, this is the guy with a skeleton that hangs off the shield. We love this guy. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Yeah. That is the primary. That's captain. our captain. So this so fell up. He's the captain here. Um, we like this guy, don't we? No, oh, he's. Right. He looks all right. Yeah, we do. How much do we love him? Yeah, yeah, we love him. <laughs> <laughs> he looks pretty cool. Yeah. So where's the Judica? Must be hidden in there somewhere. Cause I can't see him in this pile of my stuff. So that is interesting because that was the one, one of the ones, the models. He is in this box, right? Yes, he yeah, is. He's got a whopping big sword. Whopping big sword. How can we find this whopping big sword? Mm. Interesting. There's a sword. There's a sword. Sword. Big sword, though. Sword. Ah, oh, there he is. So he's, he's on the same one. Oh, yeah. As, okay, so he's on the same one over here. So it looks like that all the characters are over yeah. here with the veterans and then the main troops are over here. Cool. All right. Mm. Do you have a look at the necklace? No, they're mine, I'm taking them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we had a quick look at the Marines. Um, now we should have a look at the other guys because this guy wants to get really excited about it. Hopefully I'll get really excited about it. Um, yeah. First thing I'm noticing is, man, that's a lot of guns. That is a lot that's of guns. A little, now I, I've, I've read online that the Warriors have got the option of either the double barrel yep. or your boring old single barrel. And oh, I can't wait to see, have a proper look at those points and see what damage the difference is between the single and the double barrel. You're going to have a lot of bits afterwards. There is. Sure. That's right. Bit, uh, kit bashing can be a little bit of fun. Play a bit of fluff on that. Yep. I see some really big swords that are from my Scorpec Destroyers, I think. Pass that over there. Uh, I just realised I've got... Maybe you've got two of my little ones over there. Two yeah. of your little ones over here. But that's, that's a big sword. I'll get Greg to put it on the detailed cam in just a second. Who's that guy? I think that's probably our Scorpec Destroyer. Oh, Those are our three-legged ones you saw in the preview that were playing with our, our sister. Yeah, um, yeah. Scuttling on the three legs with those whopping big swords. They look pretty funky. They were a big part of the of the advertising campaign, so it'll be nice to see how they go. I think it'll be a bit of fun. Yep. Um, stacks of warriors. Lots of warriors. Should have at least ten of them, right? Should at least. I hope okay. so. I'm not going to count ten them. Ten warriors gonna, and I can't count that high. We've all got scabs have changed. Yes, they that, change the scarabs. Yeah, they look more. Oh, this is kind of insulting for my uh, Necrons. They look ladybug-like now. <laughs> that I don't know if I like that. <laughs> They're not as intimidating as they used to. Uh, but they, the detail on those is they are tiny little models, and they've got a stack of detail in there. They look really good. Pop that one over. I will. So where are the scarabs? These ones down here. So it looks like beautiful oh. models. I can see, yeah, lots of those. Lots of detail. Now, we're going to have to forgive me because I cannot remember the names of these guys apart from Scorpex, but I'm saying that would have to be the chest plate of a boss. Are you excited? I've got to admit, it's looking cool. It's looking really funky as. I'm seeing, uh, uh, for me, the biggest part with us is the Necrons, all of our uh, headquarters have always been the same size as our stock standard units. So it's yeah. nice to see some size to some of our things. It's like... I can this is that, uh, what was it That's called? That's that one, that right yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. What was it called? Something up the top there. Canaptics uh, Reanimator. Yeah, so these guys work with a, um, oh, I can't remember what they're called, Cryptek, to make your boys get back up again a little bit more easily and apparently a little bit harder to pull down. So that could add a little bit of extra fun in it, but it's just the legs, the swords on them, it's, oh man. So I'm, blown, I'm just blown away by the detail of it. Get excited there, mate. I'm actually feeling a bit of excitement, although it's going to be a pain in the bum because it's got detail for them to stand on, and I'm an ordinary painter. <laughs> <laughs> Check that on, that's really cool. So it's, it's got you excited, is what you're saying? It is. Um, I was sceptical about it to begin with. I was worried that they were going to make the, uh, pretty much the remainder of my armies that I've got useless. But looking at these new warriors, um, no, I don't think they will. They have a similar look and feel to the old warriors yep. but as you were trying to argue into my thick skull they do have a more of a, a personalized feel about it some of them look like they're a touch more bent over or a bit more damage ravaged by time so it's 
they've been buried underground for you know, yeah. centuries. You can see my port before, and I used to say that running straight off uh, an assembly line. Now I can see, yeah, these are the ones that have been floating out and about with the Silent King for the gods know how long. So yeah. they're all, I get it, yeah. I'm gathering you're excited about it though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm liking the guns. Double barrels for the fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> Double barrels. I can blast some fun with that. They do look good. They do look good. Oh. When's our box getting? <laughs> <laughs> We're fighting over this one. We'll fight over, yeah. See yeah. if, if um, our holder can let's get away with it. Oh, what have you also got? I did steal these you two stole those ones over there. I did. I did. What do we got? So these look like your characters. Yes. Now I don't know their names, so I'm a bit uh, slack I think on that. Dennis. Dennis and Bob. Let's There's the there. Overlord and the Royal Warden. Okay, now your Overlord just had a stock standard reanimation on an orb. He looks a bit so, boring. So here he is. This is. I think this is our Overlord. Yeah, looks a bit boring. It's got a gun. It's got a double. He's fine. Big double gun. He is the Royal Warden. Mm. Look at this guy. He's your Overlord. He's my Overlord, so yeah. I can see. He's so got he his. A bit closer to this yeah. guy first. Oh, if you insist. Yeah. So, yeah, look, he's the Royal Warden, but you can see this is going to be laid up to give it a yeah. nice cloak to it. Yeah, detail on this guy's melon tells me he's in charge. For some reason, they always like to give him little scaraby bits around their heads. Make well, a little I think bit that's of detail. more character, as I said. The new models, the detail they're the, putting in them is just fantastic. Just looking at some of these ones, particularly these ones that are known, the floaty eyeball ones. The floaty eyeball ones. I can ones. never... Names. I'm absolute garbage with names. <laughs> they look cool. They honestly look like a mesh of uh, mechanical after the, uh, like they were once organic. It looks it looks cool. I'm stoked. Well, that's a cool looking gauntlet. Yeah, that'd be, uh, have to wait. Guy. That'd yeah. be the uh, Scorpec. Yeah, you'll have to wait. Wait till you see the Scorpec Lord's three finger claw monstery doom thing. Watch that's, out for his middle finger. That's all I'm going to go with because it looks pretty sick. It's like Freddy Krueger but with three claws and a uh, Oh, Metal Monster at the end of it, so yeah, yeah. cool. He's the one who turned up at the end yes. of that video and it just went, What? Yes. That was very impressive. Ooh. So that, that's the plastic. Apart from my Lady Beetles, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the look of it now, I'll be honest. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're excited. I was excited and I wasn't a Necron player, so you should be excited. Yeah, I know. New toys, new toys. I'll get to it. <laughs> so that's models. I mean, there's a lot of models. Yes. Um, they say it's the biggest box and there are a lot of models. And I can't say for customization on the Smurfs, but just the sheer guns on the Warriors alone, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's a good point that you raise regarding the customization, but we'll take that up in another day. Yes. Right. So we'll just go to what else is in the box. What else is in the box? You've got the box? Yep. Alright, so we looked at the books. We looked at the books. They were cool. They were cool. We looked at the miniatures. The grey stuff. And there's a lot of grey stuff. And you were excited about the miniatures. Only a little bit. Just a tiny How bit. How excited? Just a tiny bit. Woohoo! Excited. <laughs> was I excited? Yeah, I was! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and are we excited about the whole box? Yeah! Yeah, because yeah, there's chaos on the box. That's <laughs> it. Is. There's chaos right, on the box. So we, you can see there are some more. There are some more. There are some more? There are some more. There are some more. Let's look at some more then, shall we? Yeah, let's have a look. So we've got this one more bit that we're going to lift up. And it's the same picture on the front cover of the book. Mm -hmm. So that's unexpected. But the most exciting part of the box, obviously, the bases. bases. Are there any detail yeah. ones? You know what is not in the box? What's that? Dice. But then again, I do remember reading that there was no dice, there was no measurers, because it's just sixes. Everyone's got six on a dice at home. Yeah, I just thought if you're going to sell a game that you want people to play out of the box, mm. you should probably add some dice. You probably should. <laughs> yeah. So there, the that's interesting. Yeah, I just thought that was a bit strange. Um, yeah. So <laughs> that's our basis. Can't talk much about bases. You can see the bike ones. You can yeah. see the uh, guys for the for the crypt. Uh, for the crypt your guys. Yep. Yeah. You'd be more for your crypt yeah. things. Are there any detailed ones? No, they are still the standard forty mil. Good. Uh, they are still just the thirty-two mil for the marines mm -hmm. in the box. A couple of forty yeah. mils in there as well. Thirty-two characters. The thirty-two is for the warriors. Yeah. Nothing special there. Nothing that's stock standard, there. what everyone would expect. So that's good. I was kind of hoping that there wasn't going to be the detailed ones that they were making it kind of look like there could have been. Um, as someone who's an absolute garbage painter, I hate those. They scare me. So, <laughs> so that's the box. 
It's a big box. That's it. That's what the, what's in the, the box. Yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah. That was what was in the box. Big stuff. Lots yeah. of grey. Bases of were exciting. <laughs> Always are. Best yeah. part of the game. The best base. part of the game. So, look, it is huge, as we said before. Yeah. It is a huge box. It's a lot lighter when you take things out and um, play with. I'm, I'm still excited. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely more interested than I was. Um, the sheer fact that I'm included for once as the, the launch for a new edition, that they're my boys are there, the ones that everyone used to hate for a little while. And they're back, they're a part of it now, and they're really looking like they've amped up the game. It's nice to see some change for the Crons in there. Yeah, um, new miniatures, look, I, you can see me on record, I haven't been excited about Primaris because of things, but these new Primaris ones just look fantastic, yeah. and um, I, I've got to make up my mind if I'm going to continue to sell them, <laughs> we'll go White Scar, because those bikes look amazing. They do, it's, uh, for me that's the highlight from what I can see in the box, the yeah. bikes look magical, and I, I'm not a uh, Space Marine player at all, I don't like them, I get annoyed at them, but the bikes look cool. Yeah. One thing I am surprised is no dice. Yeah. Uh, measuring, yeah, I'm not so concerned about. If you want to play a game out of the box, you need to give them everything in there. Yeah, yeah. But as I said, everyone's got six sided dice at home. Go down to your local store. Hey, go to your local uh, gaming store. It's like there's one just around on top of Greg's head. There's a name for one. Um, that way. That way. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't see that as a big thing. That's that's four or five dollars. Yeah. You can get a stack of six siders anywhere. So for me, that's not a negative. But it's got your attention. So yeah. 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 I just thought if you're going to sell a complete game, sell a complete game. Yeah, fair point. That, 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 that's my point. Uh, look, I want to say a big shout out to Jock Games. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for allowing us to get our hands on this nice and early and, and do this film. Yeah, we really appreciate that because you know, we are interested in the game and now we get to share our opinions with everyone else. So a big thank you to Lewis and Jock Games. Our opinions are shared with everyone else whether you want to hear them or not. Yeah, uh, sounds fair. Yeah. That must be right. They're our opinions. You can just find Jolt Games, obviously, joltgames.com.au. You see the uh, address there. But also, they have a Facebook page. And it is also Jolt Games. Get involved with the community. It is mm. a very good community to be involved with. Uh, they're not just 40K, they are a good gaming area. So it's massive. Gaming. Yeah. For old, for old people like us, for the young kids out there, it's a really good spot to come on down uh, and play lots of space. Yeah. Uh, and with the uh, restrictions easing up where we are, mm -hmm. um, the, all the tables are now opened again. Uh, that's also why we can be sitting this close to each other. Uh, if you were going, Whoa, where's that mask? Yeah. Where's that? We're not, we're not in uh, certain states of our country <laughs> where we are allowed to be separate from each other yeah. and still be close enough, so yeah. So, <coughs> in wrap up, I think the boxes looks great. What you get for it, we're, we're approximating about 300 Australian. From what we've read on the web and what everyone seems to be speculating at the moment, the price seems to be around about 290 to 300, but let's be honest, that is a speculation. Until that release does drop officially, you can speculate as much as you want, but we are hearing 290 to 300. Yeah. Uh, one thing is definitely sure, if you are gonna get hold of it, get your pre-orders in as yeah. of the 11th. Um, which is um, Saturday the 11th, yes, Saturday the 11th. same day as this is being launched. So if you're watching us, go stop, go order yeah, go, it. Go, order, go and talk to your local gaming store. If you don't have one, then by all means go through Warhammer, but we'll be coming down here and talking to our good friends at Chop Games. Uh, so thank you very much for it. Uh, it's our first unboxing, so we'd love to get some comments from you. Uh, if, we, if we get some positive comments or some actual proper criticism we have to improve it <laughs> be as nice. opposed to just telling us yeah, be nice. we happen to do more of these again yeah. uh, you can but if you do like us you can find us on our social stream uh, we can be found pretty much everywhere yep. Facebook of course is our RLG 40k uh, that is 40k not zero right now uh, on the Facebook page you'll find us all talking about 40k they were pretty excited yep. if you want to check out our other avenues where we do more gaming and um, RPG and stuff like that check out our RLG real loud gamers site um, and if you want to find our uh, Twitch, Real Loud Gamers mm -hmm. is our Twitch, and we are recording the Wobbly Player Syndrome episode on the 13th, so two days from now that you're watching this from. Yes. I'm pretty sure this box will get a mention. I reckon it'll probably get a mention. Mm. Uh, if you can also find our Instagram, our Instagram, of course, is uh, RLG40K. So that's the official one for our gaming group? Yep. Uh, we also have Twitter, which is real RLG Oz Gaming. And that's Oz with an A. Yeah. And of course, you're watching this on YouTube, which is our RLG Real Loud Gamer. 
Gamers. <laughs> gamers. Gamers. So that's all our official stuff. We do have some personal stuff. If you want to follow me on Twitch, I'm on there pretty often. Uh, Red Belly. Uh, you can also find my Instagram at Red Belly Black. Uh, my Instagram, which is only just beginning, under as one left sock. You may have to insert some underscores in there. Yeah. And don't forget, follow Jolt as well. Yeah. That way. That way. That way. <laughs> so many ways. <laughs> Again, thank you for watching. Hope you got yourself pre order ready. And uh, can't wait to get our first battle report yeah, done. Yeah, we Might be a bit lacking in paint, but geez, it's going to be fun. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks, folks. Thank you. Hit follow. Follow.